right now what a freaking night i swear some nights just make you remember why you love sports hollywood <laughs> called they want the script they <laughs> I, I, literally from the time we woke up and started our day at the ice den in scottsdale talking to josh Stone until right now hollywood script Un what a day. Unbelievable. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the PHNX Coyotes post game show. Don't forget to hit that like button. The mullet magician is waiting in the wings. Rumor he needs has the likes. Here. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Leave us a five star review. I'm Leah here with PD. Craig's calling in from Mullet Arena in a little bit. We have Danielle behind the Mac and Danielle's amazing photos on our thumbnail tonight yes. and on our Twitter account at PHNX underscore coyotes. PD. You mentioned the script. You couldn't have written a better one. You, you know what? It, it's funny, too, because everybody we talked to today was I mean, everything we did. Every, the whole day is focused around Josh Doan. And you just wanted that moment. And then the first period, he gets an unbelievable opportunity. Oh, my like God. Like right in front of we, us. Like Our hearts were like my heart was pounding. He, he had crazy. three chances at yeah. the net. And you go, oh, almost. And then he gets a breakaway. And the, oh, this is for sure the moment. Oh, and he doesn't get it. And then all of a sudden, I, that that arena erupted. I don't give a shit if there's 5,000, 2,000, 100, or, or 100,000 in that building. That was unbelievable sports moment. When he scored that goal and just pure joy and excitement throughout that building, it, I'm so glad we were there to experience it. And I wish people that weren't there could feel it. And you, you saw the pictures of his of his mom and dad in, in the suite and his brothers and his teammates and and everybody just felt a part of the Valley sports right then. It just kind of hit. Like, he's he's ours. Like, he's ours. Like, he belongs to Arizona. He's ours. And, and it was just a really special moment. I have to say, that was one of the best crowds I've ever seen at Mullet Arena. Maybe actually just yeah. in Coyote's memory since, like, the playoffs. I'm not even going to lie to yeah. you. It had that there vibe. Was, it, it had the vibe. There was a buzz in the air. There was an excitement. And I hate to say this, but... You know, there's a lot of visiting teams that we see a good percentage yep. of the visiting fans. There were a handful of Columbus Blue yes. Jackets fans. Don't get me wrong, but this felt like a Coyotes home ice advantage. This felt like the Coyotes yeah. fans came out in full force. They were excited. And truthfully, the last few years, there hasn't been a lot of on ice product to be excited about for Coyotes fans. So that's totally understandable. Tonight there was. And, you know, there were so many people I talked to people saying, I'm just so excited for this. When's the last time we felt this excited to see something happen on the ice? I can't even remember. And the feeling in the crowd was so palpable. The buzz, he stepped on the ice for his first shift and people cheered, cheered. for his first shift. And they, and, and they applauded when he got off the ice. Yes. Like, great job. You did it. It, it was unreal. It was so unbelievable. And when that moment that he scored, it just, I felt like I transported back to Josh Jones' first goal at Mullet Arena, the first goal ever scored at Mullet Arena, and we were lucky enough to be, be there, there too. too. And it was in the same end. Yep. And it like you just can't write a better script. You just can't. It was no, so it, special. You brought up a good point though. When we got there, and I we have a lot of our diehards were there. You know, Drew, we saw Brian and Kate, and we saw I, I'm gonna forget people. Angela. Dale was there. Angela was there, and everybody was buzzing about Josh Stone. And it was just the buzz. Kenny? Kenny? Did he, the, the truth is, when the, when the team drafted Josh Stone, I think there was a portion of the hockey community that said, well, it's Shane Doan's kid. You drafted him. It's, you know, you just you, you picked him because Shane Doan's here. I, I, I think he proved everybody wrong, didn't he? Like, he, the kid earned it. He's, he's the rookie goal-scoring leader in the American Hockey League. He leads the team in scoring down in Tucson. Everywhere he goes, this is what happens. Like it, he 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 brought like the energy he brought to the ASU building in that program. He became a captain as a sophomore, and here in the American League, he could be he's a leader of that team, and he's just a kid. 
he did not look out of place. Not only did he not look out of place, that line was their best line tonight. Uh, anytime McBain, Michelli, and, and Dolan were on the ice, something happened. And, and you just can't help but root for the kid. And I said this from the time I saw him play at 10 years old. I said, he's too small. He'll never play. And and here he is getting two goals in his debut. The only thing I wish would have happened is Hat he trick. would have got back. <laughs> and just kind of go, Dad. What, took his what dad 1,161 so games to do it. He would do it in his yeah, debut. What took I know. so long, Dad? PD Josh Stone had six shots on goal tonight. Um, he was on the ice for 13 minutes and 14 seconds. He had two goals, was a plus one. You mentioned his line. He, he he was impactful every time he stepped on the ice. Like this this wasn't just oh yeah he got his first start. Like this was an impactful impactful start, and like it's just it's just a game that I'll literally remember. Yeah, for the rest and, and here's of the other thing. Life. Here's the other thing too for Coyotes fans, and this is what the wait is about. And, and you talked about Josh Stone with what? How many shots? Six shots on goal. He didn't lead the team. Who did? Dylan Gunther. With eight. <laughs> the future those, those is two, bright. A month and a half ago, those two guys oh. are in Tucson. And, 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 and Sorry, again, Steve Potvin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry. But playoffs. You can have them for the playoffs. AHL but. playoffs. So get your tickets now. <laughs> but again, it's it's everybody keeps saying, well, when? When is the future? When is this going to end? When's the rebuild going to end? Well, it's not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. But when you see the energy in that building... And how excited people were. There were signs with Josh Stone's name on it. And it just it had a different feel. And I know this team's not making the playoffs this year. And I know that it's been, a, it's been an up and down season. But for tonight, tonight only, it just had that sports vibe. It had that playoff vibe. It had the, We're here. We're all bound together in this, watching this young man perform. And it was, I, I, I tell you what. When you see Gunther and you see Cooley, you see Dolan, we, we ran into some other future Coyotes there today. I'm telling you, just hang on. Just hang on. Next on the list, I'm only going to say it once, Arena. Once we get the Arena checked off the list, then you can start looking at the future of this franchise. And it is in really good hands. few things. Um, first of all, I think people outside of this market, I think like you saw the buzz on social media, even how yeah. special this was. There's some people who maybe don't quite grasp unless you're here in the market how significant this is. Um, first of all, fun little nugget. Josh and Shane are the fourth father-son duo to dress for the Coyotes Jets franchise. Andrew and Jack McBain. Wow. Ty and Max Domi. Wow. Bobby and Brett Hall. <laughs> Heard of them? So, Bobby and Brett Hall. You know, and, and PD, you and I were talking about it. You know, the NHL tweeted an unbelievable side-by-side -side yeah. photo of Josh tonight and Shane, like, very early in his career with the Coyotes, both wearing the black kachina, both probably, like, around close to around the, the same, same age. age. Um, and, and it's we were saying it's just so rare that not only does the son of an NHL player make the NHL, and there's plenty of sons sure. in the NHL, sure. but to see someone debut for a team that their father was the face of the franchise. And we even yeah. talked about Cole Sillinger on, yeah, Cole Sillinger, on Columbus. His, his dad, Mike, yeah. played there. But you don't think of Columbus and think of Mike Sillinger. Mike Sillinger. You think of Rick, yeah, Nash. Rick Nash. So imagine Rick Nash's, Nash's son. That's the story. That would have been a great example. Yes. There were some... Jo Shane Doan is the face of this franchise. He still is, despite not even working for the franchise anymore. He... He saved this market. He is this market. He's uh, he's the Mount Rushmore of Phoenix and Arizona sports. He just is. That's a fact. He is Coyotes hockey. Yeah. And for the first time, and the Coyotes account tweeted this, and the first time in 2,544 days, a Doan suited up for the Coyotes. And to unreal. see the Doan name on the ice again. Yeah. That's something that is so special to this community of fans who I think are the most loyal fans in the National Hockey League, perhaps in most in sports. sports, and the fans deserved this. Right? Yeah, you brought up a good point. What you said there, this Shane Doan was such an integral part of this franchise from the move from Winnipeg to here. You talk about the playoff runs. It was Shane Doan. Like it, was just, it was always Shane Doan. Every time you heard about the Coyotes, the only player people knew was Shane Doan. And I, and to see, and for me personally, to see the Doan name out on that ice again, like I think of all the people that that Shane 
it touched their lives while he was part of this organization. And and this just it, it brought those memories back. You saw Stan Wilson on the bench, the longtime equipment manager, was the first person to greet Josh when he came to the bench after that goal. Stan was there when he was born. <laughs> Like literally it's there when he was born. Unbelievable. He babysat him when he was in diapers. Like he saw that young man grow up and to share that moment with all of these people. And again, I go back to this. It felt like we all shared this together as Arizona hockey fans for all of the shit we've been through and all of the struggling that Arizona hockey fans have been put through. He was one of our own. Josh Stone's one of ours. Like he, homegrown. And we got their homegrown <laughs> shirts on. Josh Stone is homegrown. He's an Arizona kid. And it just, it just... I mean, I'm getting chills. It was it was an amazing night, and and today was it was Josh Stone Day. Period. It was just Josh Stone from the time we, like I said, all day long was Josh Stone Day, and it couldn't have been a better story. And I'm so happy for not just him, but for his family, and for honestly, for Arizona hockey fans, so they can finally say, you know what, we're rooting for good things here. There's happiness and there's joy in Coyote hockey again. What a, what a great great day. I'm so. Thankful that we got to go there too. Like, I'm so, it was so grateful. Much fun. So grateful. Um, well, hot off the press, we have a quote from Andre Tourney talking about Josh Dunn's debut. So here it is. Well, there's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. It's, it's not one day, one good day at the office made you a, a, a successful uh, businessman or whatever it is. So I think it's great. You should enjoy. Midnight will will arrive, and then you should move on because. This 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 game is uh, will humble you pretty quick if you if you don't stay on your toes. It's uh, I think uh, you probably heard a few a few few story from uh, the long the evening at home with his dad. I think his dad will be there to keep him humble. But I don't want that. I don't want him to stay to uh, to be a donor for him tonight. I think he should enjoy it because that's the last time he will play his first game in the NHL. So he should enjoy it fully embrace it uh, be really happy about it and like i said at midnight that's what's being a pro we move on and we're on for the next challenge you know it's interesting to hear from andre and, and i'll tell you why because we said it when we were in the arena how do you coach this game because it, 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 every time josh got on the ice people were cheering for josh and and as a coach, you still gotta you still gotta manage other players. Ice times, you gotta decide when who's going out when. You can't just let the the crowd dictate the game. And, and I think it kind of summed it up there. Enjoy it tonight because tomorrow it's not your first game anymore. Like tomorrow, it's time to come to work. And I and I think you know it, it's good that he's got that out of his not good that he got out of his way. He played unbelievable, but but tomorrow it's a different day. Like and in the NHL, guess what? You gotta do it tomorrow. And you got to do it the next day. And his dad did it for over 1,100 of those days. And you got to do it again the next day. And you got to do it again the next day. And, and it's great they had a great game. But I think Andre's point was this game humbles you quick. You, you got to do it again. You got to do it again tomorrow. I, I'm curious to see how long Josh stays here. But I don't care. Yeah. Because we had tonight. We'll, we'll always have. We'll, we'll always, always have, have tonight. We'll always That's have it. it. Yeah, we'll always Feels have like tonight. we should break out into a song right now. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Oh, man. Well, believe it or not, we still have the rest of the game to talk about. And we'll talk... Plenty more about Josh tonight, I absolutely promise you. But let's take a look at the numbers in this one presented by Desert Financial Credit Union, Arizona's number one credit union named by Forbes. Shots on goal, Coyotes had 35, Columbus had 26. Coyotes were one for two on the power play. Blue Jackets were two for four. However, the Coyotes also scored two shorthanded goals tonight. Faceoffs, Columbus dominated, yet they lost, huh? Funny. Faceoffs. Um, mm. And shot attempts, 74 for the Coyotes, 54 for the Blue Jackets. For me, this is about the, the shot attempts. And this was a team that possessed the puck more than their opponent for the first time in a long time, where Arizona Coyotes dictated the play offensively. They had the puck more. They had more opportunities at net. They shot the puck a lot. Although I did hear a lot of the shout chants at Mullet Arena. I, I enjoy hearing people yell, shoot. It's fun. <laughs> Shoot the puck. And, and I think that this is that was the Coyotes are a better team. They get the win, but they were the better team yeah. tonight. And I think from the second this warm up started, it just hit different tonight. There was just a it was a different feel. Like it, I, I, this is close to this arena is going to feel the playoffs this season. That's for sure. Uh, but but as a team, you talked about Gunther and I thought how good Gunther looked tonight. One of the things I've talked about Gunther before he came, started this season was was his pace of play and his ability to skate. Those concerns are gone. Dude, the kid can fly. 
Like he he can skate. He 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 commands the puck, and his shot is absolutely elite. That the young kids played well today, and and I thought when you look at Keller and, and Schmaltz, Schmaltz gets the game winning goal. It's funny because it, you you don't they didn't take the game over those two eight and nine. It wasn't about eight and nine tonight. No, and yet eight gets <laughs> a big goal late in the game. It's this game tonight was about the kids. It really was. I mean, you already mentioned Dylan Gunther leading the team in a crazy number of shots on goal tonight. Yeah, let everybody um, on ice. Yeah. yeah, scores his twelfth of the season, shorthanded. Schmaltz scores shorthanded, back-to-back shorthanded goals. That feels rare. By the way, Karel Vamelka got the assist, assist yeah. on Nick Schmaltz's goal. Um, your boy Nick Bukestad scored his 19th of the season. Um, you, you had Mat- Matthias Michelli get things started um, earlier, but you know all of that became just overshadowed by the the Doan night, which makes sense. But Josh Doan, Matthias Michelli, Sean Dersey, Nick Schmaltz all had two point nights. Um, Bukestad, Gunther, Keller, Kesselring all had points tonight. Everyone was a plus. Dermot and McBain and Brown were plus three. By the way, three fights tonight also. Like yeah. this game, what game had literally everything in it it had shorthanded goals it had power play goals it had fights it had nhl debuts it had multiple goals like just insane yeah it, it, it's it's funny <laughs> i can't keep going back to the way that arena felt tonight and, and how much how special that was and it's funny somebody said they're talking about the first family of arizona hockey now is the doan family i i think it was before tonight even with just shane but now absolutely yes. And we had it. We we're not going to have it today. This is going to be things to look for tomorrow. We got an, an opportunity to talk to his sister Gracie between periods tonight, and we had a little interview with Gracie. And one of the things we talked about was growing up Doan. And I was trying to pitch a reality show <laughs> of growing up Doan, guessing a little bit different than the Kardashians, a different vibe, different vibe, yeah. a little different vibe. Growing <laughs> growing up Doan. I tell you what, and I we're going to give his. Josh's mom and dad, Shane and Andrea, some flowers right now. Those kids. Wow. What great kids. <laughs> amazing kids. Every one of them is happy. Every of them excels at whatever they choose to do. And if they choose to do something else, they excel at that too. It's an amazing family. I was so happy for them. We got an opportunity to talk to, uh, to almost everyone in the family tonight. And, and I, I guess I felt like we were all a part of that today. Like we all got to share. It's in the intimate setting at Mullet. I, I think helped lead to that. We just kind of all felt like we were in it together tonight. It was just a really special sports moment for a team that struggled to find happiness, for a team that struggled to find those moments, for a team that's not going to make the playoffs again. It was so nice to go to the arena and have a happy, positive story. Everybody at that rink was talking about it. From the security guards. Yeah. They, and it, who is it? The, who said that the, the cab driver didn't know about hockey? Well, <laughs> I tell you what. Go go around ASU in the Mullet Arena tonight because they sure as hell knew about hockey today. And, and people were, were excited, and that's what you want to see. And that's what the future can be here. Once they get the arena thing solved, that's what this could be. You could be a team that, oh, my God, Keller's 25. Like, it, Gunther's 19. Like, the 20, and, and Cooley's 19. Like, they're kids. It is so, the future is there. It's bright. Just hang on. I, I'm telling you, this... This is what to expect from these kids in the future. Josh Josh Doan's a guy I said, I'm not sure he can play in the NHL. I said that uh, on this show after he was drafted. I'm not sure. Kid's an everyday NHL player, period. Period. Might not be today because he might go back to Tucson tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. But he's an NHL player. I mean, he's an everyday yep. NHL player. I, and and to think that he's going to be on that ice with Cooley, Gunther, and, and Keller, and Kraus for years to come. I, I'm I'm excited. I wish we could fast forward. I, I wish we could. What, what a night! What a night! I know. Actually, um, Espo uh, here he texted me earlier and said, "Are we sure tonight isn't a wheel of fantasy moment?" And that's really what it felt like. It's so true. And a couple other things I want to mention. First of all, we had the opportunity to catch up with. Sun Devil Hockey head coach Greg Powers before the game. Um, that interview is up right now on the PHNX Sports YouTube channel. So check it out after the show. But he after the interview ends, he looks at me, Petey and Danielle, dead in the eye, and goes, "Yeah, Josh Doan is scoring tonight." Like deadpan, yeah, a hu- like as if he looked outside and said, "The sun is in the sky." Yep. That was the same level of how he said it, yep. and it, it was like. 
He was, it was so, so matter of fact. It was so matter of fact. Josh Down, the third Sun Devil to take the ice in the National Hockey League. Um, really cool accomplishment for the Sun Devil hockey program. And tons of his teammates in the crowd tonight. Tons of his Tucson Roadrunners teammates, Tucson Roadrunners staff in the crowd tonight. Yeah. His friends, his family. It, it, it's just special. And, and I think that for every fan in that building there tonight and watching at home and watching this show right now, you're not a Coyotes fan without having a connection to Shane Doan. And now you're watching his son take yeah, the ice. It, it just, and it, 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 it just feels like... Like we said, passing the chor- the torch on the you know title of this video, yep. but that's what it feels like. Did you see Angela's poster, Die Hard? Wasn't it Angela? Yeah, the yeah, Angela, an amazing, an amazing poster that had Shane and, and, and Josh, Josh drawn yeah. on it. It was it's amazing, and it is the passing of the torch. And I, I, I'm just I'm speechless that to see what how much Shane Doan meant to this community, and I mean hockey and community like he was so much more than just a hockey player in this community what he did for people in this community without Shane Doan this team would have left and that's how integral he was in this franchise for so very long and to see a Doan on the ice again for the Coyotes okay speechless sticks 366 just read Josh's goal was on the 19th shot of the game no (laughs) the script the script is in Holy I, I, moly. If that's, I'm going to have to go Google it. I'll Google Petey, it. I'll do you have any him. thoughts on who the dog should be? I will. I, I will say this before we get to the dog. I, I, as always, I put, I don't know if you saw Nick Bugstead scored. <laughs> Did you uh, know he's, he's, from, he's from Minnesota? Minnesota. <laughs> but even I, even I, with all my Minnesota connections and Nick Bugstead's beautiful goal, I still had to vote for somebody else. Well, I think this is the easiest dog we've given given out this season, and it's, of course, Josh Doan has the desert dog in him. Two goals, six shots on goal, his NHL debut, first two goals in his career in the National Hockey League. And look at that amazing photo taken by Danielle. I, I'm just... I, I, there's can you believe we're doing this today like <laughs> no at the last columbus, game columbus arizona, columbus, arizona like. dialed in just couldn't be happier to see josh columbus arizona and the hockey world is upon us eyes dialed in pacific time zone a game that doesn't matter people are dialed in i'm telling you if you're a hockey fan in arizona this is the beginning of a new era I'm telling you, today is the beginning of a new era. And it's not just about Josh. It isn't. And, and, and I think he's a piece of it. And I think that where the excitement you can grab onto, and I think you can say that kid was born in Arizona. He was trained in Arizona. He went to college in Arizona. He is an Arizona hockey player, period. There's no, well, yeah, but he might have been from here. He moved here for a bit. Kids from Arizona, period. Homegrown, played on his hometown team. And he is going to be a factor in getting this team through this rebuild. And this is the beginning of a new stage of this rebuild. I'm telling you, the vibe in there was different. You could see Gunther and like the, the his quickness today, getting to his goal with 12 seconds left. You saw the smiles on the benches. You saw that. What do they say at Diamondbacks? Connected a connected team. team is a dangerous team. Connected team is a dangerous team. That team looked connected to me. And, and they're going to grow up together in this league. You're talking about Cooley and Gunther right now off the ice are, are inseparable. And that's how you build a winner is by getting guys together all on the same page. And I know it's not tomorrow. And I know there's probably some haters in here from other teams going, yeah, you guys suck. Yeah, the team's still not making the playoffs. We get it. We're looking for the ping pong <laughs> If they ball. lost tonight, they would have been eliminated. Yeah, but they didn't. They're <laughs> they still did. in it. You're still They're in it. They're not dead yet. You're saying there's a chance. Uh, but, but, but. All of those things, and you could see the smiles on the bench were sincere. That was real. Even Bear was smiling. Yes. And, and we know Bear doesn't smile much. It's so much better when you're having oh, fun. This is the future. And and, and they're, they're, they're going to lose more games than the rest of this year, I, I know. But for tonight, that's what the future is going to look like. And I'm excited to see where this team can go in the future. Can't wait. Cole, glued to my seat watching a Yotes Blue Jackets game. Never thought I'd say that. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. A lot of people are asking where Craig is. They're still waiting on Josh. Uh, you know, I'm sure he had a busy post game. Yeah. So we want them to be able to talk to Josh and make sure you keep your eye on our Twitter account at PHNX underscore Coyotes because we will have clips as soon as we get them and on the show as well. We will have them. Um, but 
We saw a ton of our diehards tonight at yeah, the game. Did. It was really cool. So shout out all the diehards we ran into. Or if you were there and we didn't see you, we appreciate you. Become a diehard. I have to say the moment Josh Stone scored was so unreal yeah, in the uh, discord. I, it was it just again, one of those moments like I, th I feel like I want to go back and just screenshot that whole moment. Yeah. One of the really cool things about this diehard community is that through thick and thin, through the good times and bad, we get to all, you know, experience everything together. And I think Coyotes fans more than anyone, you need that sense of community. There's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of haters. And the Coyotes community is special. And if you're not a diehard, I highly recommend becoming one. You get access to our Discord. You get access to the diehard only content. Like Craig's Prospect Reports if you want to get excited for the future. You get 20% off merch. You get 20% on, on events. And you get a free shirt or hat when you sign up. And by the way, the shirt that PD and I are wearing, the Josh Stone shirts, I think there's three left. <laughs> there were three left. There before were three the game. left before. So they're so probably gone. Get yours now if you can. PHNXLocker.com. Um, and again, if you're a diehard, you always get 20% off in the locker. But PD, you know, after after Greg Powers looked us in the eye and said Josh Jones scoring, it, it was a lock. Sean DePaz tweeted it earlier in the night. He already bet it over at BetMGM. Shane picked it on PHNX Bets Daily. It was an absolute lock, and you put it in the bet. I said, as soon as he said he's going to score, I looked him in the eye and I pulled up my phone. I said, really think so? Are you serious? He said, yes, and he said, hit it hard. And I hit it hard. Yep. Thank you to Coach Powers. <laughs> for the little I, I will say this. The Bet MGM app for me and goal scores, I don't know what it is. You're on fire. I was three for four the last game. And not our Coyotes game. I pick scores across the league. I don't pick outcomes anymore. I pick goal scores. I picked two guys tonight to score. Two. Boone Jenner and Josh Dahl. <laughs> Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Thank you, Bet MGM. Anytime goal score. There you go. So make sure you are picking goal scorers. And PD has to start giving these out because he's been on fire. If you haven't, In the Discord. Yeah. Must be a diehard. If you Must haven't signed up for BetMGM, use the bonus code PHNX. Place your first BetMGM Sportsbook wager through the BetMGM Sportsbook mobile app for at least $10, and you'll receive up to $1,500 in bonus bets. If the bet loses, you can check out the show notes for full details. And now, listen to Shane talk about the disclaimer. Bonus bets expire in seven days. One new customer offer only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Available in the U.S. Call 8778 hope 467 New York. Call 1-800-327-5050, Massachusetts. 21 plus only. Please gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP, Arizona. 1-800-BETS-OFF, Iowa. 1-800-981-0023. Puerto Rico. First bet offer for new customers only. Subject to eligibility requirements. Bonus bets are non-withdrawable. In partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. See BetMGM.com for terms. U.S. promotional offers not available in New York, Nevada, North Carolina, Ontario, or Puerto Rico. Well, and, and then everybody, if you've got them, drink them. <laughs> Because Four Peak is the official beer of PHNX. And right now, in the celebration of Josh Doan, I think that this is Josh Doan Day, right? March 26th? I or, say we can. I think we yep. declared it. I, it's, a, it's an official holiday. This is March 26th is Josh Doan Day. From here going forward. Can we remember this? There's no way I'll remember that a year from now. <laughs> Somebody remember. Somebody remember. Somebody CWP. In the chat will remember. So grab a, grab a Four Peaks. Kilt Lifter is, is my, again, my personal favorite. I went wow. I went wow at our meetup. You went peach. Peach, always. Because what we say about Four Peaks, if you are in Arizona and in Nevada and wherever, I don't know where other states, we got to find out, but it's in Arizona. There is a Four Peaks for whatever mood you're in, whatever the weather dictates, there is a Four Peaks flavor for you. And they have a new one. And the new year, new beer, it's Bad Birdie, Juicy Golden Ales collab between Four Peaks and Bad Birdie. Super drinkable. And the perfect companion at the tea box or in your fridge. Make sure you visit fourpeaks.com slash locator to find all of your favorite beers and events. Check out at Four Peaks Brew or at Four Peaks Pub to keep up with the latest at Arizona's hometown brewery. You must be 21 or older to drink Four Peaks and please enjoy responsibly. All right. We have a whole lot of super chats that I want to make sure we get to. Let's scroll to the top, Danielle. First one comes from All Text. I think my curse isn't just for favoriting players. I put on my Merzlikens jersey and the Yotes, Yotes immediately <laughs> scored two goals <laughs> after. Also, All Text, you would have a Merzlikens yeah, jersey. Of course he does. That Get tracks. Yeah, that, that tracks. tracks. So yep. thanks for the super chat. Mike, send us a super chat. It needs to be Vasha Hockey Night on every... On ice every night, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations to Josh. What a start to a career. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's youth hockey. 
Vosha. Vosha, Vasha. It's, you know, it's, it's Asha, cool. so I went yeah. with the Va. Yeah. Okay. Um, all Mike. right. Christina said, nine, I like this one, $19.91. Wow. I see what you did there. LFG, Yotes fam, what a night. Fire emoji, don't. Oh, and happy 13th wedding anniversary, Joel. Oh. Happy anniversary to the pretties. The prettiest will remember Josh Doan night is March 26th because yeah. it's so, their anniversary. So, Joel and Christina, it's, so it's your job a year from now to remind <laughs> us that this is Josh Doan day. <laughs> and I won't put it on Joel. So, Christine, you're better. I wonder if Joel, do guys, the guys forget a lot their anniversary? I think he remembered. You think he they remembered? considered Sunday night their anniversary date night oh, really? at the mullet. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Next one from Wildly Coyote. Desert, uh, Desert Doan gave the Coyotes a jump I haven't seen in a long, long time. It's true. It's true. It was a different, it was a different vibe tonight. And I, and I think it, it I, I have to say, I, I think it had to be with, with uh, Josh Doan in the lineup. Yep. Riley Riles, our friend in Alaska. When I saw him in Alaska. Oh, she goes too fast. Yeah. When I saw him in Alaska last year, he scored and skated toward us and pounded the glass right in front of us. What a kid. Yotes are in good hands in the future. Agreed. Uh, next one from CWP. I like this one. $11.91. A little Gunther Doan Gunther, action. Gunther Doan. The future is as bright as the Arizona sun. And that is quite bright. Quite bright. We have Max in the chat. Max. PHNX Coyotes diehards are the best diehards. I would He's have to. not wrong. I would and have to I'm agree. I wonder if you can expense that. <laughs> uh, the bearded gentleman said, been a Yotes fan since 1996 when they came here. Watched Shane all those years. Not going to lie. Onions were cutting tonight with Josh scoring those goals. We needed this. The kids showed the future. Yeah. I, I, I really believe that that, again, Yotes fans needed this. Yep. Coyotes fans needed this. It's been a struggle of a year. It's been... Shit, it's been a struggle of a decade. It's been two decades. They needed something positive. And when something positive happens with this group, the fans gravitate to it. And and I think they just want to be a part of something good. And tonight was something good. That was great. And bearded gentlemen, you said it exactly. Yep. Um, blatantly asked nine, 250 people in the chat for a game against Columbus on a Tuesday in March. This game was worth the damage the W did to the tank. I would agree. Agree. Well, yeah. Uh, buddy, they're going to lose hockey games. Don't worry. But this wasn't one of them, and, and I'm glad it wasn't. Even if Josh scores those goals and they lose, it doesn't have that same feeling. They they weren't just good. They were they were better from beginning to end in this game. They were the better team, and when this team skates and plays well, this is a good hockey team. I know they have to play mistake-free against good teams, but but a lot of teams do. Like There, there are that those 10, 10 elite teams, and then the rest of them, they have to have things go their way. Coyotes are no different. That good goaltending, they 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 were able to score on the power play, and guess what? They were around the net all the time, and that's what I'll say. One thing about Josh that we haven't talked about is he he didn't just like these aren't two lucky goals. The kid went to the blue paint hard all night. He was around that net, like for a guy playing his first NHL game to have the guts to get to the blue paint. That's hard to do. It, it, it takes it, it takes guts to go there. It's hard. You're gonna get hit. You're gonna get slashed. It's gonna be. You might get hit with a puck. Josh Stone was around that blue paint the entire night, and that shows me the courage he has, and the, also the intelligence because he knows that's where you're gonna score. And he got two of his goals by going to the net hard. So I, again, I, I don't want to understate this. Like I know he's gonna finish the, the, the season back in Tucson, but to see that kind of determination and will and compete, and and you'd expect that with a kid with the name Doan on the back of his jersey. And, and I'm so excited to see where this leads. Um, one other note about the tank, too. Montreal won tonight, so that's oh, huge. Go. And then, you know, Ottawa and Arizona are one point apart. Ottawa has 64. The Coyotes have 65. But Ottawa has two games in hand still. So plenty yep. of games left to be played, you know, about 10 to 12 for most of these teams. So let's not dwell on that tonight. We have another super chat from Roaring Fork. Whoever the person is at ESPN that decided to move this game from its schedule should be looking <laughs> for work. Oopsie. <laughs> it's funny because the, the the other Coyotes game on ESPN this year was Coyotes Sharks Ouch. in December. What a yucky matchup. And wow. I get it. All the teams need, need their national time on ESPN. Get it. 100%. There's so many games that I feel like ESPN could have chosen rather than the Sharks and Coyotes. And then kind of early in the year, we saw them add this one. And I said, yeah. of why? all the games why to add, one? why would you do Coyotes Columbus? I don't know. And honestly, when ESPN pulled out, I said, 
yeah, I kind a, of understand. Yeah. Ooh, but they Whoops. pulled out a few days too early Whoops. because Whoops. boy, uh, boy, howdy, would they have loved I, to be I, there I, tonight? I, I, I'm sure. <laughs> ESPN likes to tell stories. That was a story. That's all I got to say. They like to document sports <laughs> stories. That was a sports story. Yeah. That, and I, I, that's all I'll say. But but having said that, I'm I'm really glad that Tyson Nash, who who played juniors with Shane. And has been really close with the Doan family. I'm so glad that he got the opportunity to call this game and he was in between the benches when they scored the goal. And so I'm glad that Matt and Tyson were on the call. I think that made that, I think it was important that they were, that they were yeah. the ones telling the story um, because they know this team, they know that player. And I think it was important for this hockey community that it was them calling the game. Absolutely. Uh, another super chat from JMT22. Note to self, get married on a special sports day <laughs> moment so you never forget your anniversary. There you go. See, JMT, there you go. That, he's, not, he's not wrong. JMT's not wrong. <laughs> Don't forget sports. That's what sports is all about. And I think Todd Walsh said that in one of his tweets today, sports. And that, that was it. That, that's what sports do. That's what I've said on this be show before. That's why we follow sports. For moments like this, we want our teams to win. We want our teams to raise that trophy and be on the parade and root for those guys. But we want moments like this and we want to be a part of moments like this. And we want to feel like, like we're in it. Like it's part of us. Like, and I think in that small, intimate arena, we all felt that Josh Doan was one of us. And, and I, it was a really special sports moment in this state. And I know there's some huge sports moments in the state. I get it. And there's a World Series that we're just coming off of. We've got the, the rising winning a championship for, for a, a Coyote hockey fan. Those moments that matter, those moments that bring you joy and happiness are few and far between. This is one of those games. I'm telling you, this is a game that people a decade from now are going to say, I, I was at Josh Stone's first game. I'm, I guarantee it. It's I was so at Josh true. Stone's first game. When Josh Doan is ultimately, and I get away on myself, when he's on this team, when this team is through the rebuild and they're winning. And Josh Doan is going to be a part of that. And we go, he, yes, I was there on this night. That's what sports do. They bring people together. They bring families together. And I am so thrilled that the PHNX family was able to bring some of this content to your family. Uh, my friend texted me and you mentioned the 10 years thing. He literally said, we will be looking back on tonight 10 years from now when the team is legit and we have a new barn and even maybe even a ring. And this will be one of the moments that stands out the loudest. Sports are amazing. And then my other friend said, we're, we're here for the start. I can't wait to see the finish. Wow. Oh, I almost teared up at that one. I almost teared up at that wow. one. Wow. That was really good. <laughs> you have two friends at the same time. <laughs> Like, I don't know if I did it. Like she just said, I have a friend and another friend. I don't know if that was a little, like a little, like a, a little flex to me because you know I don't have any. These friends probably skated with Josh Stone because they grew up playing they hockey did. in Arizona. I, they for wow. sure skated with Austin Matthews. I'll tell you that. Wow. Um, f a couple other nuggets. Josh Stone is the first player in franchise history with two or more goals in his debut. So. That's, that's a fun little, fun little nugget. Um, but something we haven't really talked about yet, Petey, is the solo lap. Yes, and solo lap. What a cool moment! Just I think in hockey, it's cool. It's, yes. it's a fun little tradition for rookies. And by the way, I want to acknowledge somebody on Columbus also had a solo lap, and <laughs> nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't even know who it was. That's how if bad somebody it was. in the chat tells me who it was, I'll give them a shout out. But we were all gathered around for Josh Stone's solo lap, and he was a, was it James Malatesta? I think it was. Okay, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but here, I, oh, so I do have a friend. Yeah. Shane, so here's the video of Josh Stone's solo lap in case you missed it. Um, really cool. His his mom and dad and sisters and brother were right there on the glass. His aunt and uncle right there on the glass. Tears in their eyes. Again, check out our Twitter at phnx underscore coyotes for some great photos that Danielle took of um, excuse me Shane and Andrea standing on the glass watching this moment. But you can see the smile on his face. And you know, as warmups were going on, you know he he put his head down. And he's a hockey player warming up. It's not his first time warming up. Yes, it's his first time warming up in the NHL. But he knows the drill. But there was a moment I caught because I was standing in the corner by where Shane and Andrea were and he you know he saw his parents and his siblings and he just had this smile on his face and that's just you know the, the Dones were just beaming with yeah. pride it was it was so beautiful and you know I think something that Andre Turney had said this morning it's like you know it's not just that he's a Done like 
he's a human being and he's getting his first NHL game, yeah. you know, for the whole family. That's a special moment for anyone. And obviously there's so much added meaning with it being the Dones. But at the end of the day, like, and, you know, when we talked to Andrea during the intermission, and again, you can check out that video tomorrow, she said, like, just being a hockey mom and, and it was more nerve wracking than being a, being hockey, a hockey wife. wife. Well, yeah. Good. Yeah. And it's funny because I, I, I do honestly encourage people. Of course, I want them to watch everything we do, but tune into the, the PHNX YouTube channel tomorrow because you'll get to hear from his mom, Andrea Doan. You'll get to hear from his sister, Gracie, and what it was like growing up as a Doan. And we got a chance to talk to both of them. Uh, we talked to Shane earlier today. That's also on the PHNX YouTube channel. Check that out. We got a uh, an old walking and talking with Josh on there. If you want to hear words from him, there's so much on our PH and YouTube channel. Make sure you check all of those things out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that stuff tomorrow. But uh, I, again, what a special moment for a special family. And you hear that a lot. I, I, you hear it about people you work with, the people in sports. Oh, what a wonderful guy. What a good guy. Shane Doan's a good guy. Like it, he is a wonderful human being. He's a wonderful dad. He's a great husband. He's a great friend. He's a really good person. And you root for people like that. And sometimes good people finish first. And Shane don't finish first. And to see his son do what he did tonight in a jersey that he had some of his best sports moments wearing, my, I, I can't even imagine what that, they're, they're sitting around the fire talking, you know, about this game tonight or, or when they do it 20 years from now and they reminisce about this with their grandkids. Um, just if you're a sports fan, Coyote fan, tonight's a special night for the Dolan family and it's great to be a part of it. Let's take a look at some of those photos because... Oh, Danielle's got photos? Yeah, Danielle has photos. Danielle is so talented if you're if you're listening on audio yeah switch over to the youtube you need that really sad music in, it's not in the sad background. just like like inspiring yeah, inspiring um yeah not sad. proud dad shane right Dillon, on looking on uh, uh, yep um here's his parents andrea and shane looking on beaming with pride and, so and happy when we talked to her that was her she was laughing she was smiling yeah. she was so happy and she had that vibe that exuberance all night long here are some of the siblings laughing and smiling on the glass as well. Really cool, you know. Saw a Gracie couple. And Karis, yeah, yeah saw, saw a couple really sweet moments of Gracie and Shane hugging, and you know, it, it means so much to everybody, not just the parents, but to the siblings as well. And you know, some one of the things she told us was just how close they all are, how yeah. close all the siblings are. So, just it's just so. So beautiful. It is. What a wonderful day. And, I, and I, I, Craig must be working overtime tonight. Yeah. Which is fine. Because <laughs> Lee and I. No, are, he's on his way. He's on his way. So, um, man, oh, man. What a night. Shelby, that was uncle. That was the uncle. Yes. The one who took off his shirt, shirt. and was waiting. He's a, he's a big, large man. He is. And he, he is. didn't wear a shirt in the press box. No, or not the press box. The suite. The suite. After, during, the, after the second goal. Is, is there anybody else we need to give flowers to? I want to give flowers to Circle K for being there when I need it. Yeah. Um, and somebody ran their tank down to zero. <laughs> no. I saw it in the Discord. No. Don't. Oh, Just my goodness. Oh. Not to me and my anxiety. Can't take it. <laughs> Can't take it. Circle K, they're your gas stop. And if you're a member of the inner circle, you can save 25 cents per gallon on your first five Phillips once you join three cents per gallon every day after that. It's so simple to join. You sign up on the app and then you put your phone number in. And every time you pull up to the pump, it says, yep. What's your phone number? You put it in and it knows no, exactly. It's, it's like, Oh, well, you just saved you. 25 cents. Oh, or you just saved three it's cents. You. Plus the app, great app, by the way. I know I got it. Great app. I They're always it. giving free stuff away. I'm in the inner circle. Drinks, chips, I, But I, sometimes, I, but no offense, this isn't Circle K. This is, I'm in my 50s. Sometimes I miss the free stuff. I Because I, I just, I, I'm. I'll text you when I see free stuff. But I know, but it's like the gas thing's easy. Phone number done. Yeah. And, and getting, the, getting, a, be a part of the inner circle. So easy, so an old man. Can do <laughs> exactly. It. You can join the inner circle for free by downloading the Circle K app today. Terms and conditions apply at participating locations. Visit circlek.com for details. And then go play Arizona Lottery. You can buy the tickets there. Newest game. And you can buy the, the you can buy the Arizona Lottery's newest ticket game at Circle K. And their newest ticket game is called Arizona Adventure. You've seen the commercials. It's people climbing mountains because that's how you can win. You can win by going places. Don't have to buy anything. Go there. Download the app register or not the app go to the website register log in and just go places there's an app too if you want though. it just go places yep just go there and it'll go hey you're here do you want to do you want to the weather is perfect weather's great go to hole in the rock anywhere from yuma 
all the way down to Tucson, all kinds of places to stop. You literally don't need to buy anything. You'll get registered by geocoded just by being in these locations. Make sure you go to azadventure.com to check out where those locations are. You can also buy the scratchers, the Arizona Lottery scratcher tickets that have all of the beautiful landscapes from Arizona right on the tickets. And thirdly, once you buy the tickets, just put them in online, log them in online to give you another chance to win a million dollars in cash and Arizona travel prizes. The Arizona lottery is not just about playing games and winning prizes. It is also about giving back to the state and its communities. Visit azadventure.com for more information on how you can take an adventure for a chance to win $1 million in cash and Arizona travel prizes. People are saying that GMBA deserves flowers. Yeah, I, that's fair. I, and, and I think, you know what, when you, when you go back to the Josh Doan draft, that's a gutsy pick. When they pick Josh Stone and you go, gosh, they, they probably could have waited a little bit and got him later. Uh, I think when you redraft the Josh Stone draft five years from now, we'll see. We'll see what you think. Because I, I tell you what, every level this kid competes at, he he's successful. He's just, there's something about this kid. There really is. Like, And you saw it at the rink today, or we, when we talked to him, we get... There's something special about Josh Doan. And I, I will never say that a Doan can't do something. And that's that's mom, dad, sisters, brothers. Uh, if a Doan puts their mind to it, they're going to get it done. Fox 2001 said, I texted my boss. I'm not going into work tomorrow. It's 136 a.m. here in Florida, and I'm staying up for all of this. Yeah, I, I'd be glad <laughs> to write a note, Fox. Just say, I'm not sure they listen, but... But no, that's that's great. It is, it's it's an exciting, and that's what we said. This is what binds this sports community. This is what binds this hockey community in Arizona. It's moments like this, and it's so great that we have people that we can share this with. Because when the game's over and you turn the TV off, it's over. And I don't want this moment to to last just a little bit longer. Yep. Well, after a long delay, and it's quite like a Doan to be running late. Yeah, and it's very <laughs> fitting on Doan night. It is. Um, let's bring him in, finally, from Old Arena. It's Craig. Hello. That, that is literally the first thing I said to Josh when he finally reached the post-game interview area after a 45-minute wait. It was 45 minutes after the game, and he walked up, and I said, I'm just going to say it. This is such a classic Doan moment. Yep. 45 minutes we had to wait for you. He's like, apologies. <laughs> but you can imagine, right? You can imagine. He was on the set for a long time while she did a great job with him and Shane. And then he just, I mean, he was passing through his entourage. He had so many friends and family. You could hear them all cheering and talking to him. How do you, how do you walk past that? It was almost like a receiving line at a wedding. It was insane. There were so many people here to see Josh. Guys, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this night? Did we really just see what we saw? It is unbelievable, Craig. I, we were saying, call Hollywood, give them the script, because I don't think they would believe it. It, uh, it. it felt, it was Josh Doan Day from the moment we woke up, and it will be until the end of this broadcast. And I tell you what, he delivered, the team delivered, the arena delivered, the family delivered, everything you could have wanted in a hockey game. And they get the two points, which I know Craig is really happy about. <laughs> And we're but not talking about that. We're not tonight. talking about that tonight. What a moment for Josh Doan, and and of course he scores. Of course he scores. We like we the three of us looked at each other and we're like, of course, of course. Not just one, but two goals. And you know, if it hadn't been for Nick Schmaltz, he might have had a chance at number three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come Wait, on, the buddy. Net or pull the net. Get the empty but, net. Get Elvis out of here. And we were talking the about. Net. The Josh Doan hat trick while we were sitting in, in press row. We were talking about it because it took his dad a, a few games longer. than 1,161. Long. We would have had a great graphic tonight. 1,161? Oh. One. One. <laughs> hey, who knows? Because it, it could be the next game. Who says no? Who says yeah. no? Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I asked him about that, by the way. I said, so what do you do for an encore? And he, he, res he reverted to a cliche. Just looked at me and smiled and said, Go to the net, get puck steep. <laughs> That's on, buddy. awesome, um, <laughs> Craig. We we you know we showed the clip from Bear earlier. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, so so good. Did Bear have anything else insightful to say about Josh? And then I want to hear more about what Josh himself had to say. Well, well. It's, I mean, I, th I think you guys got the best clip where he really dove into it. But yeah, I mean, he agreed with me. And like, listen the. The story that I'm going to be publishing probably around 1 a.m. at this point uh, when I finish writing here in the press box, it, this literally has been a fairy tale. This entire story is a fairy tale. And Andre was talking about that, too. 
you think about all the storylines for Josh Doan coming into this game. First guy to play for ASU, the Roadrunners, and the Coyotes. Arizona born, part of this literally royal family of hockey in Arizona. Scored the first goal at Mullet. And then he comes in and scores two goals in his first NHL game. It's just, it's ridiculous. You, you, you can't even write. The movie would feel almost cliched and melodramatic if you wrote it that way because there are just so many feel-good storylines to it. No, and, 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 and go ahead. You're, you're right, Craig. You delivered. It, and it, didn't you feel that throughout the arena the entire yes. event? I don't even call it a game. I mean, from the time we arrived, there was just a special feeling. It was just this vibe in the building and it was coyote fans and they outnumbered the opposing team and I, I think they cheered louder today i think they the chants were louder it was just it was just different it just hit different and again you just start to look forward to that future you know pd i was i was thinking about this as i was coming up um shane gave us so many great moments right while he was still a coyote so many great moments we think of the playoff run but there there was so much more to it than that it's it's funny because we, we, we'd almost forgotten what it feels like to feel good about the yeah. team. I mean, there have been moments. But isn't it fitting that it was a dome that sort of reminded us, yeah, this is why so many people love the Coyotes. This is why so many yeah. people are Coyotes fans. It's the Doan family that's delivering yet again. Yeah, and, and it's good to, for a Coyote fan to feel good about something and to have something positive to talk about and to get up around the water cool tomorrow and have something good. Like they're so rare that there's something good and not this negative cloud hanging over everything. And this was a positive, happy hockey experience. And it's so good to see that this fan base got to rally behind it for the day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I got to gather all my thoughts now. And, you know, it's funny. I had, I think I had close to 2000 words written and I, <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Brown and I are looking at each other like, well, so much for that story. got to rewrite that entirely. So I mean, I'll, I'll keep elements of it, but I'm going to be here a while because there's just too much in this game tonight to just sort of weave it in in small pieces. There was a, a big part of the story that I have to write is this game because, man, did he put on a performance. And we almost – there were so many missed chances early on that I was thinking, what if it doesn't happen? I know. Like, <laughs> After the breakaway that he missed, you go, oh, no. Uh, I know. So and I, like, I was sitting next to Chase, and I was like, my heart is literally yeah. pounding. Like – I can't believe that. And then it was, you know, less than a minute later he scored. And I have to say, like, you know, normally the press row at a professional event is pretty even keel. Like, we're all standing. We're all looking at each other like, oh, my God. And I like my hands were literally shaking. Like you said, it was that that fairy tale, that storybook moment, that part of the movie where you're like this, you know, if like you said, it feels cliche, but it's just. Just to feel yeah. some level of joy in this era <laughs> of misery, um, it just feels it just feels all that much better. Yeah. Wow. What? What? Jeez. <laughs> Everything okay, Craig? Sound, didn't sound like a good thing down there, but yeah, I, I think yeah, everybody. Somebody okay. dropped something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that was a big bang, a big explosion here. <laughs> no, not really. Um, Petey, we 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 watched this kid grow up, I and know. I feel like the old guy when I say that, but. Literally, I can remember being in the locker room, of course, talking to Shane, who, you know, can talk. And sometimes you just sit and listen when Shane talks and they're turning off the lights and Rich Nairn is telling you to get a room. But there beside you is Josh Stone, about, you know, two yeah. feet tall, running around playing knee hockey with Matty Nyes or some of his buddies. I, it, it's such a different feeling than anything I've ever experienced covering this team before to have the son of the most famous player in the franchise's history, now a Coyote. Well, watching him is just a bizarre feeling for me. Yeah, and I think that we talked about, you know, the first game of Dylan Gunther or the first game of Logan Cooley and all. They're wonderful moments, and they're, they're a glimpse into the future, but they're not this. And, yeah. and, and they're not what, what Josh Doan did for all of us as longtime Coyote followers, fans, media members, employees. It's just different. And, and, and Craig's right. Like, he was born into this. Like he is royal family of Arizona hockey. Like mm -hmm. He was the kid that's dad. Let's go. Like let's go. Like he, you know, at the end of the games because Shane was the last guy. And you know what? Here's a photo I saw today, and I, I, I it's not a necessarily appropriate or, or for the show, but um, one of the equipment managers sent me a picture before the game. 
and it was Josh Doan in the equipment room. And in the equipment room, it's, it's just off the main locker room. It's just a little room where they sharpen the skates. And it's got, you know, some enough chairs for everybody to sit. And there's three equipment managers and guys hanging around. And in the last chair was Josh Doan. Just sitting there talking to Stan and Tony and Jason and conversing. And his dad, for as long as I can remember, before every single game, would just sit mm. in that same chair and he would talk to Stan and Tony and Jason, and he would just wait and wait and hang out and talk to the trainers. And and now it's it's Josh Doan has taken that seat with the same three guys. It was an unbelievable moment for me to see the evolution of what one Doan passing it down. We passed the torch, not just there on the ice, but what he means off the ice to the people that work there, what he means to this community. It, it is such an unbelievable moment. And I don't want to overstate this. People can say, oh, yeah, he's just. No, it's different. This is different. This is a big deal for Arizona hockey fans because he's one of us. Yeah. Did you see Stan's reaction when he scored the first oh, goal? Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't have been as proud, almost as proud as his, as his own dad. Like, that, yeah. we were saying that. Like, Stan was there when he was born. Like, Stan yeah. babysat that kid. I don't think he changed the diaper. Shelly probably changed the diaper. Stan, I correct me if I'm wrong. It's my guess is Stan. Careful, buddy. Changed. You're on thin ice with Stan Wilson. I know. Stan, <laughs> st he's still mad at me. He's still mad at me today. He yelled at me again today. But but you're right. And, and that's what I mean. This meant so much more to so many more people than, than just Josh and, and his mom and dad. It meant a lot to a lot of people. And, and there's a lot of hockey fans that are looking for those bright moments and those things that you can remember in sports. And like you said, Craig, most of those are attached with the number 19 Doan. And those were the good moments they remembered from this franchise. And now they had another glorious, fun, happy hockey memory. Core memory. One of the other things I talked about with him was just the extended family, the people, you know, maybe outside the organization who came through here at one point. But, you know, Petey, you and I got a text from Tree earlier today, and I know yeah. he was paying attention to this game. Ray Whitney was here tonight. You guys were standing there with me when he said, you know, I, I teared up. I yeah. teared up when I was watching. They used to live right across the street from him. I, I didn't get to hear much of Tyson Nash on the air tonight, but it sounded like he was – he was just elated just yeah. watching Josh succeed because they're such close friends as well. It's crazy the impact that this family has beyond this community. It, 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 it impacts the entire hockey community. And by the way, there's no chance this kid's going back to Tucson anytime soon. Yeah, Not sorry, Steve Potman. Good luck to Steve Potman, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. you know what, Steve Potvin, he's, if anybody knows what Josh Doan is all about and his character and his desire and his work ethic, it's Steve Potvin. And Steve Potvin might be the first to tell you when he left, might be the first guy to say, you know what, he ain't coming back. <laughs> and I, uh, maybe for playoffs. The, the, yeah, for sure uh, yeah, for, for playoffs. playoffs. But just he's, he won't be, he's not on his way back on the intent tomorrow. Yeah, you know what he said to me after the game? I promise you he'll be the same way in the game after this one. And the game after that one. And the game after that one. That's what he's saying about this kid. He's just been so consistent. Yeah. Their most consistent player down there. I didn't I honestly, guys, when he came into this game tonight, I was just hoping for some some kind of special moment out of this game. I honestly didn't think Josh was gonna come by uh, come up here and score in his first NHL game, and then he gets two goals. It's just again, I, I can't believe what I just saw. I can't believe what I just watched. I sat and talked to his dad this morning at the ice den. And, and some of that's on our YouTube channel if you want to see it. But but we talked farther than that. It's, you know, what I asked him, what were your expectations tonight? What do you want to see Josh get out of tonight? And he said, honestly, I just want to see him get through the through the game without making any glaring mistakes. And I said, so what's your advice going to be to him? And it's going to, he said, this is before his pregame meal and his nap. He said, I'm going to tell him in the in the defensive zone, just get it off the glass, get it out get over the red line, get it in, and then go hunt the puck down. And he said, if you do those three things, you're going to be okay. Well, he did that and more. And, yeah, he did a few other things. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, that line was the best line on the ice tonight for the Coyotes. It was. And I tell you what, Gunther said, well, yeah, well, I think I can play this game too. <laughs> and he had a few opportunities. I tell you what, exciting time for Coyotes fans right now, not because the playoffs are coming, but the future is coming. Yeah, we were joking about that with Logan Cooley and Dylan Gunther tonight. We're they're both making plays, and we're just like HK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh my Gunther God. and Logan Cooley, who cares tonight? Yeah. Oh my well, God! Go ahead, uh, all right, well, we'll slip this in here while we're on the good vibes. The Coyotes have officially been eliminated from the playoffs because the Vegas Golden Knights got a point tonight. 
Um, but yeah, okay, we'll move on. And, yeah, that's an, and that's enough of that. And that's enough of that. Moving on. It is what it is. I think we all saw that coming. Yeah. Um, all right. It's been long enough. The people have been waiting. I think yep. the bang was the magician practicing his latest tricks, I'm sure. But this this one's gonna be has to be extra special hey, tonight. It's Josh Doan night. So it has to be extra special. Without further ado, oh let's see God. the mullet magician. Well, here we go. The coyotes win at home as in time for more magic. We take out the empty wine glass and we take the mini lock and we drop the lock right in the glass. And then we say the magic words as we pull the diamond back. Oh, it's so hard. Abracadabra! Oh! And the lock is on the glass. It's a magic mullet man. That was, I gotta say, that was, that was impressive. <laughs> Uh, uh, I was expecting something different for Josh Doe tonight. <laughs> oh my god. It's a so hard. He's literally speechless. I, he, so he, hard. This, he leaves me speechless <laughs> every performance. Oh my god. Always wanting more. You know, oh my. We're, lucky, we're lucky to have him. I hope we can hang on to him a little longer. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh, wow is wow. right. Oh, Good oh. night, everybody. There went the vibe. No, it's magic. Magical. What a magical night in Mullet Arena. And that was Mullet Magic. I'm telling you, the vibe in that building is what we can look forward to for years to come. And then what are we going to call the new one? I don't know what we're going to call the new one. What are we calling yeah. it? Ham on mayo? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that new Center. building. The Super Helmets. Case the Four Peaks Forum. Yeah. Oh my God! Anything else, Craig, on tonight? I know you're gonna have a lot more to say in the story, but any anything else you want to share on the show? No, I think that covers it for now. I'm gonna try to put the story together and hopefully be out of here by one a.m. So well, will I they should let probably you get stay right in there and write. It's a good question. I've never tried to stay until one a.m. before, so we'll see. If yeah, not, I'll I guess I'll have sleeping. to go home and write, and you'll have to wait for my story. If any of you lunatics are up at one a.m. Oh, they're waiting. And People read my they're story, waiting. Yeah, you can, you can, you might be able to read it at 1 a.m., but you know if if you're not if, if I'm not able to stay here, you may have to wait until early morning. So we'll see we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, Craig, we'll get to work and uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, see you. All right, see you bye. And a big shout out to Ethan again. Yeah, Ethan bought tickets in town still. Didn't yeah. have tickets for tonight. They actually bought their tickets on game time. Okay. They gave they gave us a shout for out. Real? Used code PHNX. This isn't even a game time ad read right now. Yeah. I'm just saying that. They just did that. And they just <laughs> did that? Just, yeah. Went and to we the saw game. Ethan. Yeah. And Ethan and Tegan. And this, I think Ethan and said. And Tegan got a Desert Night jersey. Really? Yeah. And I think Ethan said that the um, the second Josh Stone goal was right in front of him. So pretty special. Fire. Fantastic. Pretty freaking special. Great. By the way, night. Ethan, if you're in town and you haven't yet tried Illegal Pete's. What are you waiting for? Go to Illegal Pete's. There's one right there on Mill Avenue. We're going to be at the Illegal Pete's in Tucson on April 20th before the Coyote, or not the Coyote, excuse me, the Roadrunners play their last game of the regular season. Illegal Pete's. Anyone who hasn't been, go. Get the queso, get the margaritas, get the bowls, get a burrito, get tacos, whatever it is you love. Illegal Pete's is so freaking good and immaculate vibes there as well. They have a great sound check deal going on. Bring in your ticket stub from any ticketed event and get a draft beer or house margarita for a penny. Illegal Pete's wants to celebrate with you, whether it's a pregame or postgame party. They got you covered on all your game day needs. You must purchase an adult entree to redeem Illegal Pete's soundcheck deal. Illegal Pete's, your go-to spot for burritos, buddies, and beer. And Ethan and Tegan, if you're still in Arizona, try OGs. What vacation does not need some OGs? It's gummy madness season, Leah. Gummy madness season. Follow along with eight competing dispensaries. Put gummy versus gummy against each other this week in a bracket to determine a champion. Vote for your favorite gummy as the winner, and you will receive a BOGO offer. Follow along to see who wins. Check out OGsBrands.com for more information on how you can vote. And OGsBrands has 
a gummy for whatever your THC and CB needs are. If you need the sleep edition, like I might need a little sleep edition tonight. I have a feeling I'm going to be up a little bit late tonight. <laughs> Got a little bit yeah. of buzz going right now. Get it calmed down. Or you need the happy balance. You need indica in the couch. Or you need a little sativa to have a little bit of fun. OG's has got the answer in locally scratch made gummies. To learn more about OG's gummies and where you can find them, head over to ogsbrands.com. You must be 21 or older to enjoy responsibly. All right. We have a few other super chats. Chris said, Leah, Petey, and Craig, glad the bobbleheads got there. Okay. Enjoy them. Chris, I had it in my the rundown. I was going to shout you out. Thank you. Chris sent us two bobbleheads in the mail. We got them today. They will make their debut next time we're in the GOAT studio. On and the I was set. told I can't play with them. The note literally said you cannot do demonstrations with them. Um, but Chris, Chris chastised me in, in, in Discord. Chris, I'm not allowed. We appreciate you. Um, Thank and then you. Wildly Coyote sent us a super chat said it was more than a rookie hitting the ice. It was more than a number one pick hitting the ice. It was a franchise family hitting the He's ice. He's right. That's so it true. It hits different. Thanks, it Wildly does. Coyote. It does. It hits different. It does. It does hit different. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's just. It's exhausting. What a day. What a day is right. I, I will say this. My day started because I went to the ice den first. And who's the first person I saw? And if you follow my Twitter, at S. Peters Hockey, the first picture I sent out of the morning was Josh Doan walking into the ice den with Michael Carcone. And that's how my day started today with Josh Doan. And he had a smile on his face then. I'm assuming he has a smile on his face now. I'm sure and he And everybody in that Doan family was smiling ear to ear from beginning to end. What a day. This is Josh Doan Day on Christina and Joel's anniversary, <laughs> March 26th. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right. Well, we have a few videos because what? they waited 45 minutes. We get real content for, for, for we Josh. We get hear from Josh Doan. Yes. They waited 45 minutes for him. So we're going to hear from him because we also waited 45 minutes That's for true. Craig. Um, so we're going to hear from Josh Doan. I was going to say live, a little tape delayed. A little tape Josh delayed. Doan. So first things first, uh, Josh Doan spoke about his debut and everything around it. So let's take a listen. Possibly capture what we just saw tonight. Yeah, it was, that was something special. Right from the beginning, all, all the guys made it so unique and special and and, and just made sure that I was calm. And it, before the game, I felt like I was, I was a little nervous. I was almost too too relaxed and laid back. And I had to figure out a way to get my legs into it. And then uh, Boehner and Shelley kind of pulled me into it. And after that, it's it's kind of a, a flash. Did they say something to you or just? Just, just positivity about, about getting our legs under us and, and, and playing your game right at the beginning. Don't, don't worry about trying to do too much. Just keep it simple and, and it'll start to come and, and plays will start to open up. It sure looked like you played your game getting to the net. You were all around it tonight. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something that, that I take pride in and, and something that I've worked on a lot is, is in and around the net, and, and that, uh, that's where the goals are scored, so you got to find yourself in, in front of those areas. Speaking of the goals, walk us through the emotions of that first one. Yeah, I was pretty frustrated with myself on the first one because I, I missed a breakaway right before, and, and my dad partially was about to walk away because he knew how upset I'd be, and, <laughs> and and fortunately it came back out in front and just had to get a piece of it because it was up in the air, and and went in over the glove. We really thought for a moment that you might have a chance at a hat trick tonight, and we were we were looking forward to mentioning it to your dad that it took him 1,161 games to get it, and he might get it in game number one. Yeah, while well, well, she might have mentioned that we're overdue for two goal games, the two of us now. So <laughs> it, was, it was something that, that Schmaltzy made a, an early change. It caught me off guard to try and get me out there for, for a third, and, and, and that meant a lot that the guys were, were willing to sacrifice some time to, to get me a chance for it. And, it was it was something where, where I was happy with two already, and uh, I think three would have capped it off. But it, the the way the whole game went was special. And it, you see so much of his dad in him <laughs> when he speaks. How humble he is. How he credits his teammates, and he just says the right things. He doesn't stumble at those press interviews. He he's a professional there. Um, but he's a, he's a really good kid, and um, I'm I'm. I'm glad that he's a, he's a part of this, and he's a guy that I want to root for. So congratulations to Josh Doan on Josh Doan Day. Well, what a day for that family. Ready for another nugget? Yes. Courtesy of the NHL. Um, Josh and Shane Doan became the second father-son duo in NHL history to both record a point in their league debut with the same franchise. Joining Bernie and Danny... Jeffrey on uh, Jeffrey on boom boom Jeffrey with on. Montreal, yeah, Montreal on December 16th 1950 and October 23rd 
Wow. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Been a minute. Wow. Um, all right. Well, let's round things out by taking a look at the punch card. I think we just finished a line. And what a way to finish a line. Great line for the Coyotes. Yep, the big line. bounce back after that. Sea of red there. One full line to go. Plus one. Much I to be chagrin. They got five greens on that line. So that's five out of nine. If they would have done that the entire length of uh, the, the punch card, we'd be talking all playoffs right now. But they didn't. So never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about Josh Doan. That's what we're going to do. I, Absolutely. I, Josh Doan Day. That's it. We, this is a, If you're a Coyote fan today, celebrate today. Somebody in the Discord sent a screenshot that they set a reminder on this day next year to remind us. Oh, that it's thank Josh you. Dunday. Buddy, thank you. Ren. I forget about Ren. this. I literally will forget this tomorrow. Like, I won't remember <laughs> that. Like, thank you for doing that because we need a reminder on Josh Doan Day. And I'll be glad to celebrate Josh Doan Day every year on this day. Maybe there'll be a game on this day. And, and then if there is, I'm taking them um, anytime goal score. I love it. Again. I love it. Um, one more thing. Someone in Discord, Luke, said, if you want more smiles, check the Instagram stories of guys like Geeky and Mavlam. These guys haven't even played in the NHL together, and they've built a community. How can you right. not be romantic about hockey? And again, that's, that's what, for all of the downs and trials and tribulations of the people that have followed this team for so long, Geeky, Mavlam, I they're already buddies and hanging out with Josh. Remember that how well they played in this year's um, preseason when you, well, you don't cause you were in Australia and I wasn't, <laughs> but, but geeky and Don were fantastic together and they've got this camaraderie and they've got this bond. And I, I've said it once. I'm going to say it again. A connected team is a dangerous <laughs> team. And I you just wait. This team reminds me of the diamondbacks and that that youthful exuberance and you're just happy to go do do your business go about your business and be happy doing it so hang in there coyotes fans just a little bit longer my face literally hurts from smiling this oh whole what show. a day what a great day what a great day it's good to be happy about it's hockey. good to be happy about hockey God, oh so my miserable gosh. so much it's <laughs> great it was a wheel of fantasy day in real life it really was. It was good. Petey, do you have any final I, I, notes? I don't. What what a day. And it, it couldn't have gone better from beginning to end. When they said they were calling him up, this is exactly what we envisioned. And if you're you're on this train, enjoy it all together as a community because this is the vibes we're hoping for from this franchise every single day in the years to come. I'm really excited about it. Josh Doan, hats off. Did a lot of things right. Got to the net. Played hard. Got his two goals. And, and you know what? Didn't cause any problems in the other end, which is, is just as important for a kid in his first game in the National Hockey League. So congratulations on it, Coyotes, on a big win over Columbus. And let's do it all over again on Thursday. Absolutely. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Um, whether you're listening live or later, hit the thumbs up on this YouTube video. If you're listening on audio, leave us a review. This community is amazing. We're so grateful um, for all the Coyotes fans. And tonight... Just the vibe in the crowd really yeah. felt like a glimpse of what the future could be, both in the crowd and on the ice. And that's really exciting. And it's just exciting to have that feeling. So we appreciate you all so much. Sincerely, again, be sure to subscribe to the PHNX Sports YouTube channel. There's so much extra content on there from coming today. Up. And yep. there's more coming tomorrow. tomorrow. So make sure you don't miss interviews with Shane Doan, Greg Powers, um, Andrea and Gracie Doan. Yep. There's just so much stuff of Josh himself from earlier today. Yep. It's all on our on our YouTube channel, PH Next Sports. So make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be off shows tomorrow, but we'll be There's back. Be plenty of content tomorrow. There's though. plenty of content. Plus, we'll be black back Thursday um, after the Coyotes take on the Predators, and then we'll be live at 2 p.m. on Friday. So that's our schedule for the rest of the weekend. A game Saturday, of course. You can follow us on Twitter at S Peters Hockey, at Leah Merrill, at Craig S. Morgan, at Abrica Danielle. Shout out again. Phenomenal photos. All the photos you saw on our Twitter tonight and on YouTube were Danielle's photos. Extremely, extremely impressive. Um, and then you can follow the show on Twitter at PHNX underscore Coyotes. Enjoy this one, Coyotes fans. Hold on to this feeling. Enjoy the rest of your night. And we'll see you all soon. <laughs> We all silly like the mayor, 